in today's crazy world that we live in, you can turn on the news, you can read the newspaper, there's, it, there's, there's just bad, scary news everywhere. And when you open up an Amish novel, I know I can speak for my Amish novels, when you get into it, you're going to find a place that you can escape. I expected that they would be so different, that they would be uptight, that they would just be stuffy, they would be very formal. They have a great sense of humor. They're fun people to be around. People think, oh, well, there's no lighting, there's, there's lanterns. But, you know, they use propane lighting and, you know, they've got alternate ways that, that they kind of make up for some of the more modern things that we're used to. It's just very important to them that, that we as writers do our very best to represent the people that they are. They may not have electricity, they may not drive in cars, but at the heart of everything, they're just like us. Their teenagers get in trouble, they have problems in their marriage. There's, there's all the same struggles, and over and over I hear from them, we're human, please portray us that way. It's important to me and it's important to them that the books are authentic. The reason I write Christian fiction is because it's a calling for me, and I think that if you're doing what God wants you to do, and you're on the right path, I think there's a sense of peace. Um, and for me, writing Christian fiction, whether it's Amish, contemporary, a love story, a romance. If there's a message in there and just one reader gets that message, if one reader picks up the book and it either brings that person one step closer to God or in some way has a positive change in their life, then I feel like I've done my job for him. I never in a million years thought that I would even be writing and publishing this many books. I wanted to write one book to make a difference in one life. And for me to be where I am right now, I feel incredibly blessed. And I hope that God will keep blessing me with stories to tell.